But a new technology is created, new challenges are sure to follow. With the arrival of smartphones, a new problem has been created, and it has us worried. Sexting. Sexting. Students sending nude pictures of themselves through texts, apps like Snapchat, and others. This is the problem that's happening at our school, and we are not alone. It's happening all across the country. We asked our YouTube viewers to take a survey on sexting. Out of a thousand people who took the survey, 40% said that they'd engaged in sexting in some form or another. My name is Reagan, and I'm Maddie. In order to understand the problem of sexting better, we decided to sit down and talk to the experts. Then hopefully we can offer some solutions to help stop sexting happening in our school. First, we sat down with Officer Gensler, our school resource officer. Morning. Morning. What does the law say about sexting? Is it a crime? It is a crime. It falls in the category of a felony. Um, it was originated for adults that were sending some sort of child pornography or exploitation of children. To give you an idea of what a felony would be, it's someone that breaks in your house, someone that has a weapon that's going to use it on you, homicide or murder of any sort. So those things are very serious consequences and that's kind of where anything with child pornography, which would be sexting when you're sending um, pictures of juveniles, and that's a very serious offense. What are the legal consequences of sexting? The worst thing would be is that it, that it does fall into the felony category. That sticks with you for a long time or forever. Um, that's not something that you'd ever want anyone having on their record, let alone a juvenile. The other side to that would be is uh, registering as a sex offender. Mm -hmm. So your neighbors know what's going on, your neighborhood, mm -hmm. um, your community as a whole. Um, that can be a pretty embarrassing thing, I'm sure. Next, we are off to the Juvenile Justice Center to speak to Karen Guerreri and Judge Delic to see what they had to say. So, why do you feel that teens like are engaging um, in sending new pictures? If I look at the research, the research tells me that they do it because they're interested in somebody and they think this is going to help that person um, to recognize or notice them. Or they feel pressured to do it, or they feel like this is what everybody else is doing, so it's what I'm supposed to do too. You know, that they're discovering their bodies yeah. and they have access to this technology that allows them to be capable of engaging in this behavior. Is sexting a symptom of a deeper issue among youth and teens? So if the reason was because of low self-esteem, then again, the answer is yes. Um, but if the reason is because, you know, I like this person and I thought it was a nice sexy gift that I was going to give to him or her, then, then probably not in that case. Um, I think for me, the bigger concern is the potential problems that can result from engaging in sexting behavior. So young people aren't thinking about the long-term consequences, but there are very serious potential long-term consequences. Karen Guerreri was concerned about the consequences of sexting. Later that day, we sat down with Judge Delic and she gave us a real life story of how serious these consequences can be. Let's talk about the one that changed Ohio law, Jessica Logan from Cincinnati. She was a young girl in high school, a beautiful, friendly, smart, attended school, had a lot of friends, and she was dating a boy and the boy had a sexually explicit photo of her. And when they broke up, the boy was really hurt and he thought, well, I'll get back at her and I'll share this photo with everybody in the school. And he did. And so when she went to school, um, she found out that everybody had seen these photos of her. They started harassing Jessica um, and calling her a slut and a whore. And so she just sort of started withdrawing. Her grades fell and she stopped going to school and she ended up committing suicide by hanging herself in her closet. So what we have, though, is we have um, a young girl who probably thought letting her boyfriend have these photos was harmless because they were in love. And that Jessica Logan was a typical high school student growing up in Ohio, just like us. So how could we avoid making the same mistakes that she did? We turned to our health teacher, Ms. Lorenzi, for some advice. How can you help kids realize that it's okay, like, to say no. I feel like the best thing would be to have open communication, make sure that the two people in the relationship are able to communicate and set their boundaries. And if the boundaries aren't respected, then you communicate that you're no longer going to stay in this relationship. Hearing like my friends talk about it, like you see the way that like their boyfriends or like their girlfriends will, like treat them after they said no, it's like, why are you staying with them then? Like, I'd understand like you love them, but that's not love. Exactly. It's, but I think there's a lot of confusion and people want that attention. You want to be liked. And when you're getting that, I think sometimes you get confused of what healthy attention is and what health unhealthy attention is. I do think that's why it's a lot harder nowadays to like be in a healthy relationship because all of that, like things, 
things are just They've progressed. They've progressed yes. so much from, you know, 20 years ago. Like, right. We moved a lot slower because we didn't have the instant direct communication right. where you guys have with the phones now. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that today um, students are pressured to feel that they need to sext? Yeah, I definitely think there's a lot of pressure there because it's a lot more expected in, like, any relationship or even in, like, you could be talking to a boy for a little while and, like, he asks you to send you him pictures or something. They're really nice to you. They're so sweet to you. Like... And then all of a sudden they're asking you for stuff like that and it's just a lot more expected. Just yesterday this random guy followed me on yeah, followed me on Instagram and he like slides up, he's like nudes question mark and I was like, No. And then he tried yeah. to call me too. It was like some random South Dakota number and I was like, first of all, I don't even know how you got my number. Second of all, why are you texting somebody who you don't even know? Hey, I give you credit for that for standing <laughs> up and speaking up because not oh, yeah. everybody would do that. Do you think anything might change in the future? As much as I want it to, I just, I can't even tell you. I don't know. I hope so. Yeah. I'm hoping so, and I, like, I want it to, but... I'm just scared down. that if it, if we don't fix it now, that it's definitely going to get a lot worse, and it's just going to progress, so... Miss Lorenzi helped us think through what a healthy relationship should look like, and we wondered if anyone was seeing the same problems that we were. So we got together a group of students from surrounding schools to get their opinion. Okay, so how many of you know someone that sucks? A lot of the times, like, people, when you, they say, like, oh, we started dating, and it's like, that's almost like it's saying first base. Like, you guys send pictures back and forth, and that's, oh, yeah, like, we did that. And then, like, you know, then everything in person starts to happen. What are some of the risks with sexting? Nothing on the Internet is really gone forever. Right. It's always still somewhere. It can always be somewhere. Do you think that media plays a big role in the evolution of sexting? Well, we have, like, very influential people in the media, like, the Kardashians, a lot of rappers who they post pictures that aren't really appropriate for kids and they know that there are kids on there. How should youth respond when asked to send nude pictures? I think a good thing to do is talk to someone who's older. Just say, hey, listen, you know, I, I really, you know, I have this friendship with this person or I have, you know, this connection and I really like them, but they really want me to do this. You know, what do you think I should do? A lot of people, like, totally forget about the fact that this is like somebody's body, somebody's picture that they trusted you with. They brag about it and they totally forget that that is somebody's being that you just like literally stomped on. It's People really sad. People have them in their phone like they're collecting Pokemon cards or something. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. People definitely use them as like trophies and yep. yeah. like if you send most guys a picture that's getting shown to like 40 other people. Like, yep. I don't care what he tells you. I mean, your privacy is one of the only things you really have control of, no matter what. To give that up and risk so much for a high school relationship just seems, I don't know, doesn't seem worth it. So today I'm going to be gathering with my Friends for Friends group to try to create a plan to help middle schoolers and with the topic of sexting. So let's go. <laughs> so we want to create a plan to help middle schoolers like resolve this issue. So what's our plan moving forward? I think if we did like a classroom lesson with them to help them interact like with us. With high schoolers instead with of. With high schoolers instead of teachers, it would be really beneficial. We could have lunch with them. You could do like, like one on one. On time. Time. Yeah. Get straight to the point. How to say no. So this is definitely something that we're still going to need to work on and develop, but I feel like this was a good start. Break on three, one, two, three, break. We saw a problem at our school that we wanted to fix, so we began to educate ourselves about sexting so that we could be a part of the solution. What we decided to do was have a conversation with the middle school students and pass on some of the things that we had learned. It was fun, it was engaging, and I'm sure that it is going to help them make good decisions in the future. So what can you do to help your school make good decisions when it comes to sexting? We encourage you to share this documentary with your school, then have a conversation about sexting and the best ways to respond if you find yourself in a sexting situation. You and I, maybe we could be the answer.
Wikipedia answer.